what is what is this term normal plus mean? Well, because that's a lot of the book. Well, it is. And if normal means coming up with a 10 cent ball and normal means coming up with an answer that's way less than 21 million. And I have a whole series of questions in the book or not a whole series, mm -hmm. but five questions in the book mm -hmm. that all are easily answered uh, and all come up with the wrong answer. And why is that? Well, it's because we're normal. We have one head, one brain, two arms, two legs. We're pretty normal in a broad sense. But being normal means we're very prone to making very predictable errors at times. And that's what the book is about. It's being rec helping recognize that we are normal uh, and that being normal means we're almost guaranteed of making some predictable errors unless we can come up with some countermeasures to overcome that normal tendency that we have. And that's what I call normal plus. So normal so plus would be a quality that somebody should strive for. Warren Buffett has normal plus qualities, or I call them investorship qualities, qualities that distinguish somebody that's discerning, somebody that will take the time to slow down. Uh, so in this book, I talk a lot about some of the findings of the last uh, uh, 50 years dealing with how people think. And one individual in particular that comes to mind is somebody whose name is not household name, uh, maybe unless you're an economist whose right. his name is familiar, but the name Daniel Kahneman. People don't know who he is, or most people don't. Most people have not read his best-selling book that was published uh, three years after he got a Nobel Prize in economics. This is a psychologist who's the only non-economist to ever get the Nobel Prize in economics. And he did it because he presented enough information and evidence to support how people think that economists unanimously changed their decision-making process to incorporate some of the realities that he introduces. And basically he introduces the concept of people make decisions not just based on reason and rational thinking. People are emotional creatures. People make emotional decisions and those emotions influence and corrode at times our better judgment. 